Today's session of cricket is brought to you by Coke. With their lowest ever one day score against New Zealand at the Adelaide Oval today. A sensational batting collapse saw Australia all experimented by opening with John Bracewell. The experiment lasted just two balls. And uh, taken, second ball. So Martin Crowe then looked in dangerous form before Bruce Reid bowled what appeared to be a no ball. Alan Border took the catch and Crowe wasn't impressed. Wright and Edgar then set the basis for the New Zealand total with a 121 run partnership for the third wicket. Wright, who had been struggling for form, finally found his touch and made 61 before falling to McDermott. He's hit that one in the air. This is going to be out. There's man underneath it. Gilbert's got him. Edgar was on his way three runs later. In the air, he's got him. A whirlwind partnership between Hadley and Coney pushed the Kiwi run rate past five and over. The pair added 64 in quick fire time before Reed made the breakthrough. Goes outside leg stump and he's got an edge. Doesn't even wait. To More big hitting from Blair and Jeff Crow enabled New Zealand to reach seven for 276. Going to clear mid on. Australia began its innings by giving Jeremy Coney catching practice. He picked up Marsh off the second ball for a duck. Stephen War soon after for three. Got him again. And then the hapless Glenn Trimble for four. Always got him. Another one. Soon after, Boone was on his way for 10. And well taken this time by McSweeney. And then Border joined the procession after making only nine. Skies it. Hadley. In fact, it's Gillespie. Uh, Greg Matthews was the next to go with the score on 47. That's out. And when McDermott fell, the innings was in tatters at seven for 55. Well, there are two men out there. And he needs one to get underneath it. Australia had needed 277 runs to win when it started the innings, in the but it may as well have been 77. The last three wickets fell for just 15, and Australia was all out.